Hello. We promised you, myself and Robert, that we would send you out a communion service that everybody can celebrate together in one form or another at four o'clock on Good Friday. I would like to share that communion service with you now. The Apostle Paul, reporting on the Last Supper, sets out the authority for us following this practice in our reading today from 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 23 to 25. For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. After the same manner, also he took the cup. When he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as often as ye drink it in remembrance of me. We gather as families, partners, individuals, young and old, apart yet together in spirit and solidarity, each with the other. Though we are distant, there is a oneness in the sharing of this sacred act of bread and wine. Let us pray. Spirit of life, we pray for healing. Spirit of life, we pray for the healers. Spirit of life, we pray for closeness of our hearts. Amen. Now is the time to pour out our spirit of love and hope upon the gifts of this sacred meal. May this simple meal help us to be restored. May this broken bread strengthen us to go to feed the hungry, to bring healing to the hurting. May the cup of grace open our eyes so we may see the needy, the lonely and the broken around us and that we may support them. May we help each other by sharing the fear and anxiety that surrounds us in this difficult time. In the same night in which he was betrayed, he took the bread and he broke it, saying, Take and eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after the supper, he took the cup and gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of this. This is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as oft you drink it in remembrance of me. Let us pray. We need to pray for ourselves and all the people of the earth. Not many of us, loving God, 
get through life without some pain and some sorrow. Help us to meet such hard times and by the initiative of your grace, turn setbacks into growth and fruitfulness. Holy friend, enable us and all people of kindness and hope to work together to combat this terrible virus. We give thanks to all those working in the NHS and the HSE to ease our suffering and help our healing. We give thanks to all those serving to keep us secure. We thank all those working in the food industry and stores to keep us supplied. Help us to challenge the greed and neglect that so magnify the pain and sorrow of humanity throughout the world. With the word of a compassionate God as our guide, assist us to play our part in the ongoing work of salvation. Counting no person as too insignificant or no one as too evil to be outside your redeeming love. That all may at the last see the reconciliation of all things through grace, mercy and peace. Amen. God bless you all and stay safe.